When it comes to Nicolas Cage films, I expect two things. Overacting and bad hair. Yeah, I said that. In the film Rage, we just don't get the overacting. He plays an everyday man who has a shadowy past and his daughter has just been taken from his home. Instead of letting the police take care of it, he calls up his shadowy past in the form of two very dangerous friends and together they go to work. Paul McGuire is a loving family man, a successful contractor, but back in the day he lived on the other side of the law. When his daughter is kidnapped, he just can't let the police take care of it. He knows she was taken because of his past. He gets the old crew together and they start asking some hard questions to some very unlucky people. When they don't get the answers they're looking for, there's really only one thing Paul can do. Turning the other cheek is just, well, it's not his style. I was pleasantly surprised when I finished this movie because it's a good character thriller. Do not expect action scenes every 10 minutes. The film uses its serious idea and a building intensity to give us brutal and sharp action sequences, but they're just a payoff inside the story. Nick Cage in a movie like this, we expect him to swing for the fences and probably miss. Instead, Cage gives us a grounded, more realistic performance of a man in pain. We see his sadness that builds up to this film's title. I have seen Rage build as an action film and that is just not the case. This is a mystery that's fueled by raw emotion and an actor's sound performance who usually we question. Now, it's not one of my favorite thrillers of all time, but I definitely enjoyed watching it. 